Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will do a view of a lake in watercolor. First, with pencil, we sketch the horizon line and a line that will define the lake. We will have some trees here far away at the horizon. With a large brush, we get all the paper wet. And then we apply the paint. First, I will apply a purplish gray for the clouds. And we let it run in the wet. Nice. And we will have other clouds which are orange because they are being hit by the light of the sunset. And the reflection of this on the water. Let's add some more low gray clouds which merge with the horizon. Very good and we can add more intensity to the orange and some variation in tone. Now let's do the closer planes, which are of course going to be much darker. This will help us send everything else toward the back. We can create the effect of distance. And since the paper was slightly damp, an effect of softness is created on the edge. As you saw, with a tissue paper, I prevented the paint from going onto the lake. We wait for the paper to dry and then get it wet again with our big brush. I lifted the top of the block where I have the paper so that this time the paint will drown down, like so. And we give a second layer which we can control with the tissue paper. As you know, in watercolor, you usually paint by layers, adding more and more paint, since it is transparent and you cannot paint light things over dark ones. The general rule is begin with the light sections and then do the darker and darker ones. So now we do the trees on the horizon, and then the closer planes, which need another layer. And I am adding one more plane, which will be even closer. This will be a lot darker. Alright. Once it is all dry, we get the paper wet once more. Like so. Nicely, very wet. And we can use this to soften the lines that we had, if one of the edges was too stiff. I darken the clouds even more because I want the effect of the reflection of the water to look lighter. I want the reflection to stand out. And for this also, I will add to it a little bit more pigment, more of the orange and some other tones. The list of materials used, as well as instructions in case you want to help me translating this video to your language, are in the description below the video. I can get this little area damp to make some of the reflections of the trees over there, like so. And now I will darken a little bit further uh, this layer, because by darkening the other ones, now it looks very light. Good! Excelente! That looks better. And the one closest to us, again, even darker. This is more like the way I wanted it to look. The last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.